guys. I just wanted to show you one last exercise. Of course, I could invent or give you way lot more exercise, but I think this is a good intro on using diagrams. Of course, when we are using the first law, which is the next block, we're going to be using the diagram and a lot of problems involving heat changes, enthalpy change, uh, work required to do that task, etc. So, of course, I'm going to bring you more problems, okay? They tell you, find the enthalpy, the volume, the pressure, and the temperature of the critical point. And probably you don't know, but here is marked the critical point. Is where, I love it because it's where, theoretically, the liquid finds out the gas. So, the only point you have here is, you know this, all this is gas, and you know that all this is liquid. So you know that you are not going to achieve that only until you you get this here. So let me check out the point. First thing first, I think it's very easy to get the pressure and the enthalpy because these are the axes. So the pressure, I go and check it out here. Let me say it's 4.8 megapascals. Now let me draw this straight line to down here and you will find the enthalpy which is 400 kilojoules per kilogram. So I got this checked and this checked. And let me calculate the temperature which is not that hard. Oops, actually you don't see it that much. You have this line here and this line right here. Let me go here, here, here until I found the value 100 and 110. I think it's a little bit more on 110. I would say it's, I don't know, 108 Celsius. Hopefully you see that coming. You have these two straight lines on. What else is missing? Uh, and the specific volume, that one is very, very easy. It's between this value here, 0 0.0020, or actually a little bit more into that, 0 0.025. So because I think it's more near 25, I'm going to mark it as 0 0.0023. So I've got everything, guys. I got the enthalpy, which is the x-axis. I got the volume, which is this line here. Actually, it's a di diagonal. I got the pressure, which is the y-axis. And the temperature is the isotherm, which goes like that. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.